ADHD Gamer Dad. Dad. really going to do it, aren't we? Yes, Mitzi. You will finally get your closure. Maybe I will get mine too. Did you take that map with you? Yes. We can always refer to it if we get lost. I've lived in this building for many years. I won't get lost, Mitzi. But it'd be a good idea to cross people off. Once we're sure it's not them, it might give us a clearer picture of how far we've got. Okay. Good luck, Mrs. A. Mitzi. Are you sure you're feeling up to it? This recent incident, it must have been pretty tough for you. No, I'm good. Never felt better, Mrs. A. What's wrong? I... I really don't feel that comfortable around babies, you know? Yeah, I can imagine. I talked to her, but I'm not quite sure how to approach this. I'm hardly an expert on babies myself. If only we had some good reason to talk to this woman. What do you mean? Something like... I don't know. Something to talk about. We can't just knock on a door and talk about the weather. Let's go somewhere else then. We can always come back here later. All right.
it's just a tripped fuse, don't worry. I'll just flip this switch and we're back on. Jesse, can we talk to you for a second? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Would you like to talk to him? Sure. I'll pretend I'm doing one of those customer surveys. Old people usually have time to answer lots of stupid questions. They just want some attention, Mitzi. Hello there, sir. If you could spare us just a few minutes of your time, We'd like to ask some questions about your internet service provider. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. Oh. But we're not trying to sell anything. It's just a little survey. What? Wait a second. I, I can't hear what you're saying, sweetie. Let me get my hair again. You think he'll be back with a shotgun? Don't be silly. This isn't America. Uh, I thought I heard someone. What did you want? Do you own a computer connected to the internet? Say again? Right. Okay. Do you... I can't hear you very well, dear. You'll have to speak up. I'm an old man, you know. I'll be 85 this year. Do you have a computer? There's no need to shout. I've got my hearing aids. I can hear what you're saying. Sorry. A young, pretty lady like yourself wouldn't understand about old age. We live in two different worlds, dear. And if you're here to make fun of me, why won't you just go ahead and be done with it? No, no, with all respect, I... I just wanted to ask if you by any chance own a computer. Pardon? A computer! Wait a second, dear. I think I need to change the batteries in my hearing aid. I must have forgotten to switch them off last night. I'll be right back. No, wait! Jesus. I don't think I've got enough patience for this, Mrs. A. To be honest, the chances that he's our guy are pretty slim. I think we should go. Yeah, this is pointless. Even if he did have a computer, he probably wouldn't even remember how to switch it on. Unless he's not alone. You should ask him about that before we go. Can I help you? No, thanks. We're fine. Have you found some batteries? What? I don't want to buy anything. I told you before. I'm not interested. I don't have any money. Go bother someone else. What if why? Do you live alone? When you're an old man like me, you end up watching all your friends and family die. I'll be 85 this year, but I can still cook my dinner. 
And I make my bed every morning. All right, right yeah. myself. Oh. So, you do live alone then? Look, young oh, well. lady, I don't need any help. I've told oh, them already. Oh, I can sorry. manage just fine. I can still cook my dinner, and I make my bed every morning all by myself. And not that it's any of your business, but when I die, I'll die in my own home, in my own bed. I'm honestly not trying to take that away from you. We're just here to ask about. I will not have anyone washing me, or, or dressing me, or feeding me. I can manage. I've done it all my life, and it'll stay this way. Uh, come on. I can still cook my bed, and, and I make my dinner every morning, all by myself. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. We'll go now. I'll see you later, ladies. Next time I'll do the talking, yeah? He's tough. Wouldn't answer a single question. But he can't possibly be an internet whiz. Yep, he's just a lonely old man. Let's cross him off the list. Right, so we're on... Hmm. These floors confusing me. So we're on the... second floor. Fly, honestly. Right, fourth floor. We were just on that, wasn't we? I'm getting confused here. Yep. Fourth floor. Hours. We've done third floor. Now is my mind. Yeah, so now it's ground floor. I'm not sure it's me being a moron, but I swear they put that in a weird order. Hello. You live on the first floor, am I right? Yes, that's correct. Flat two. And you're Susan Ashworth, I presume. I've been meaning to talk to you, actually. Really? Is something wrong? Well, it's those cats. I understand you're trying to do a good thing, but it's become unbearable lately. This can't be sanitary for people living here. And I'm sure it's not allowed by the council either. Are the cats bothering you? Yes, they are actually. They usually stay outside anyway. I bet you hardly ever see them. I see them all the time actually. Ever since the Morrisons from Flat One moved out last month, your cats seem to reside permanently on my floor. And that sofa, my god! They're always gathered round it like it's their shrine. It was Morrison's responsibility to dispose of it, but they just left it there. And a whole load of other rubbish, too. Okay, that's not my fault, really, is it? But you encourage cats to come here. You feed them. Everyone knows that. Every time I take William for a walk, he gets upset and tries to chase them away. <laughs> Who's William? William is my dog, of course. He's 12 years old, you know. He shouldn't be running after cats at his age. Did you say they sleep on the old sofa? 
I didn't say they sleep. Have you not listened to me? I'm beginning to wonder if they ever sleep, actually. They just keep climbing up and down the wretched thing. They're noisy. They leave germs all over the place. They've scratched upholstery and the paintwork. And William keeps chasing them. He's so quick, I can't help him most of the time. What if he runs off and gets lost? I'm telling you, we've never had such problems before you decided to bring here these homeless devils. Look, they're not my cats. You're Susan Ashworth, the cat lady. We all know what you do. Everyone's sick of those cats, and I am too. Brian said he will get in touch with animal control if things don't improve. He already did. Really? Well, I certainly don't see any improvement on first floor. It's still completely overrun by these filthy creatures. He'll have to talk to them again. I hear they've run out of business recently. Then he'll have to find another one. This is just not good enough. I have to go now. See you later. Wow, that was a boring conversation. One day you will forgive flowers, Mrs. A. Maybe. Or maybe not. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to push it. Don't worry, Mrs. A. Could have happened to anyone. I'll clean it in a minute. But please, be more careful in the future, yes? You be more careful, nosy old witch. <laughs> Pretty cat. <laughs> Shots fired. Just like the dog. Hmm. Right, so get Mitzi to have a Would you like to try your famous lock picking skills on this lock here? Let's see. I recommend a young get child could open this lock with a piece of wire. That's fantastic. Have you done it yet? No. I can't work when you're looking over my shoulder. 
you mind? No, sure. I'll just walk away for a minute and stare at the wall if that's what it takes to get this done. Thanks. I reckon we, we need a knife for that. For that sulfur stitching. So might have to be in there. Or I'm way off. Say so that for the bicycle. Clearly this place is empty. I reckon we can cross it off the list. This is A. What does depression feel like? Well, it feels like all I want is to die, but I have to live. Most of the time I feel like I want to live, I have to die. So I don't think there's anything else in here now, is there? I've got the spanner. Right, stitch in there. Got to use a spanner for that. Spanner for radio. No. I forgot what floor that guy was on. We're on third, aren't we? Try the second. Can't, can't keep up. Not good remembering that stuff. No good. This is ours. Try the third. <coughs> right. That'll teach you not to mess with the cat lady. Can you unlock this door for us? Let's see. Blimey. You don't see these very often. This is a very special lock. It would take someone much more skilled than me to open it. Great. I thought you were an expert. I am. But this lock is just... beyond me. Why would anyone need one of these here? They must have something to hide. Yeah. Is there any other way we can get inside, then? Well, not unless we can find some plastic explosives or a pneumatic drill. Or a key. Yeah, because I'm sure there's a key lying around here somewhere. Well, what can I say, my friend? Let's try to think positive. Hmm.
Right, so we've got got a rag. What would that be used for? Wow, look at this. Baby. Noise. Um not too sure. Damn fuse, it just keeps tripping. It's like we're living in the Stone Age here. Jesse, can we talk to you please? Later mate, later. I'm really, really busy right now. Top. Brian. Surf floor one. Anything back in here? Anything else? Nothing left in here then. What am I missing? What am I missing? It's not 
not making sense. Be that part where I spend an hour on the game and then I have to skip it for you lot. I think I need to go down to the bottom floor then. That's the ground floor. Yeah. Anything down here? Oh dear. Don't need to talk to her again. Cabinet. We want rid of her, do we? That's just up there for this. How can we get rid of her? What can one do? Oh! Walks right past that. Or is it? There. Right, can we use the cell phone? My initial thought was stab that woman with the glass, but I don't think that's possible. Which one was it? First one. So, where's the glass? Stop your hand. Hey, look at this. Valerian root extract. Cats love it. It has the same effect on them as catnip. They go absolutely crazy for it. You found it inside that sofa? Yes. I wonder how it got there. Maybe the Morrisons wanted to leave a goodbye gift for that woman and her dog? Yes. Well, they would. I always thought they were reasonable people. Oh, what a shame they moved out. So now can that be used? Or on the okay, way? I think we're getting closer. Does that do anything to a person or not? The rag and the crank. Now what? Woman with a dog? Or the baby crown? So this is the top floor. Maybe put the rag with a pram or something and then be like, oh, there's cats on your pram or 
I don't know. A bit tight on the baby, but... No. Cats will move to wherever I put the rag. Where do you want them to move to then? Where would we want them to move to? Just, uh, I don't know. It's not making sense. Am I missing something? Right, come on. So I've got the crank. I've got the ragweed catnip on it, basically. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? That, that is... Not this one. Back to floor one. Floor no. Mm, I don't know. Cats will move to wherever I put the rag. Um, which way? Come on, guys. The party moved over here. Where are they? Well, aren't they quick? This dog is making quite a racket. Someone should complain to the owner, don't you think? Definitely. She should put that broom down for a minute and sort her dog out. the door? Hmm. You better pick the lock. Well, there is a lock. He might get sick of the noise at the top. Who's at the top? That's committee. Oh, come on. Hmm. So, what next? If only we could get rid of that woman and her dog.
Your dog is making horrible noise. Can't you do something? It's probably because your wretched cat's upset him again. Poor William. I'd better check on him. Yep, off you pop. be all right please these cats can easily outrun some old mutt right I'm going to push this cabinet out of the way I remember there was a door behind it it's too heavy I don't think that's gonna work are you kidding me I'll show you how it's done Stand back. Yeah, I got from the front of the phone, so it's just picking up the uh, Xbox Series S. There. The door the everyone's the forgotten about. Good, wow. You're like stronger than you look, Mrs. A. Yeah, perhaps I am. Basement door, let's go have a nosy. Yeah, she wants to play Hogwarts on it, see if the graphics are any better. A lot of times were horrendous, apparently. Well, apparently. The arcs I played it to. Uh, where are we going? Height, okay, so water supply for the whole building can be switched off here. No need to do that right now, though. Extension cord. Take that. Yeah, I got just the thing for that. Just the thing. There we go. Some parts again seem really simple, but it takes me a while to find out. The crank's gone. Has it? Crank's gone. Sign. There, the dress. Why not? Hmm. No. I think I've got an idea. I know how I could pay Brian back for all that he's done to me and the cats. Brian. The guy from flat six, right? Yes. Brian. That nasty piece of shit. He deserves to be punished, you know. And this wedding dress will be perfect for this. Okay. You ever heard the legend of the cat widow? The cat widow? No, I can't say I have. Well, you're not from around here. But I'm sure Brian knows it. He grew up in this city, just like me. So, what's it about? It's an old story about a ghost cat who takes a human form to haunt her killer. Wow, that's pretty crazy, Mrs. A. Do you really think we can pull it off? Yes. Yes, of course. We just need to prepare. A good costume will do the job. This dress, we can alter it. We'll need some red paint, too. Right Are you there. sure about that? Right I promise this will work. And it will give us a chance to check his computer. If he's got one. Okay. So what do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Yeah. Red paint. There's a tin here. We could use that. 
The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost after all. I'll need some scissors for that. Mask. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Well, you don't want to open it and carry it, do you? That makes no sense. Hmm, okay. Coal all over it. Oh, that damn confused that. <laughs> Pipes. Gotta be something else down here, surely. I need, um,. I need something for that. Nothing else here, is there? It all looks fresh. No. Hmm. Well, the arm's hurting. I need to get a setup where the desk is a bit lower. Right, so that's that. Come on, focus. Use your brain. Broom! Take the broom. Right, I know. Look, she left the door open. Do you want to check her flat? I'll stay here and keep watch. Good idea. I'll be as quick as I can. Anything? It's not her. I didn't find anything. No computers, no laptops. No telephone line. Okay. I'm not really surprised, are you? At least we can now cross her off the list. Okay. Well, now we need to go in that other room. Let's go. Got a broomstick. So we should be able to get that statue. I'll try to catch that thing for you, alright? Got it. It's a statue of a cat. How nice. So there's another wacko obsessed with cats in this house. Lovely. I see I caught this statue only so you could smash it to pieces. Thanks. I don't remember asking you to catch anything. Number three.
Do you want to go in first? Mm -hmm. There we go, now we're making progress. Come on in. The place seems empty. Watch out, Mrs. A. There's a massive hole in the floor. Just step around it. I'm not blind. Besides, I know it's there. We saw it from the floor below. Let's have a look around. There's got to be a computer here somewhere. I really don't like this place. Yeah. It's rather creepy. Bingo! We found what we were looking for. This laptop could be it, you know. Maybe Joe is our guy after all. No, no. It's a disaster. The power lead is missing. It won't switch on. Right. What a shame. Can we go now, please? I think I've seen enough. I don't need any more trouble. No, it's okay. I've got an idea. It seems it's a similar model to mine. I'll just go back to the flat and bring my power lead. I don't know. You sure this is gonna work? I think so. At least we'll give it a shot. Just stay here and I'll be back in a second. Just hurry up. Yep. I'll just grab the power lead and run right back. It's just across the hall. I'll be back before you know it. I'm an idiot, but fine, I'll wait here. While I'm gone, think of a vegetable. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? To keep yourself busy. I bet I can guess which vegetable you were thinking of when I come back. So you're a mind reader now? No. This is just a little experiment of uh, mine. Okay, of whatever. Now go. Uh, we haven't got all day. I'll think of a tomato. Why do I always end up in places like this? Now, if the game literally guesses tomato, either A, Darren Brown created this game, or just tomato the first vegetable that comes to mind for everybody. The phone ringing, where's the phone? Missing. Mm. I mean, is she going to come back or do I have to? Damn hole. Nearly forgot about it this time. Remember the hole, Susan. Just one big No, something about to happen. She's gonna get Damn. The door handle just came off in my hand. How am I gonna get out of here now? How's Mitzi gonna get back in? Mitzi hmm. Mitzi, are you there? 
shit. Oh, we're not. She's gonna fall through the floor. Careful now. Jesus. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> I'm copying off the cat already. Maybe it's because we think like two depressives. Supposed to be here. Why did you have to ruin everything? What have you done, you stupid, evil bitch? A bit rude. Who are you? I... I'm the gas inspector. Yeah. There's a leak somewhere? Is that so? I can't smell any gas here. How odd. I think you're lying. You took her away, didn't you? What has she ever done to you? What? Look, sir, you are wrong. Shut up! I won't let you trick me again! Did they send you? They think I'll fall for these lies, but, but I'm smarter than this. I know what you're up to. My friend knows that I'm here, and she will call the police. And I've got a gun. I can shoot you right there in your it's not worth it, Joe. I've done you no harm. Of course, you haven't got a heart. Isn't that right? I... I have no idea what you're talking about. I'll just leave. Very slowly. I won't cause you any trouble at all, okay? The hell? Are you there? I need help! Where the hell are you? I tried calling for help too. No one ever comes. Just the devil. You are seriously freaking me out now. Tell cops all about the devil. I'm out of here. Get back here right now! And give me that blasted key! Oh, and she fell down the hole. Did Mitzi? Did Mitzi fall down the hole? Hmm. Come through here, devil. 
Do I gotta pick it up? Do I gotta? Huh. Oh, that is because I'm so indecisive. Right, so picking the first star, I'd pick this one. Speaking of Darren Brown before, that was a statistic or a thing that you do. Which you've got four choices. You pick the first one that you want to do. And you change your mind and pick again, you've got a higher chance in getting it correct because you've got a one in four chance. I'm not sure, I can't remember what it was. Somewhere like that. Um, I don't think it matters. Go through the devil door. Okay, that was a bit. No, that one. Has to be that one. That made no difference. Huh? I'm a bit confused. Right, that stays open. So that one. Right, so you'll have to stay open then. That one. That one. No, it's that on the end one. Hmm. That and that one. And then it says here, so open this one. to be afraid. I, I don't buy. Come in already. I might need your help with something. You need my help. I thought you wanted to kill me. Why would I want to kill you? You must be mistaken. Who do you think I am? A man who paints on walls with blood? Blood? It was just red paint. What made you think it was blood? That's crazy! I... Oh, forget it. Where are we? I really can't remember the name of this town, but I'm pretty sure the hotel is called Quiet Haven. This is a hotel? I know. It's a joke. They shouldn't charge half the price for this dump if you ask me. This is all just a dream, right? It's funny that you would say that. I've already heard that somewhere today. But if this is a dream, 
I've been asleep for a very long time. I'm sorry. I just want to leave. Yes, I understand. I wouldn't stay here myself if it was my decision to make. I'm stuck here too. You see, my wife Ivy is in the room to the left. She's a little fragile at the moment. She said she was going to do her makeup, but it's been a week now. Maybe longer. Every time I try to talk to her, she just gets angry. And she tells me she's not done yet. I've cooked her a meal, but she ignores me. She never likes when I cook. But what's that got to do with me? If you talk to her, I'll show you the way out. I promise. Just go in there and tell her. Tell her she looks fine. She's always so careful about looking perfect. Okay, okay. I'll see what I can do. Goodbye, Joe. Careful, I'm in on a strange one, because that whole thing... Hello? Wow. Misery? I is that what you said? Bye, Joe. Hello? Misery? I is that what you said?
Another one of these scenarios where I'm just... I'm left really confused. Obviously something to do with the bloody mirrors, but what? So, your wife's been in that room for a week? Now that you bring this up, I think it might have been a month. That's a very long time to stay in one place. She wants to look great. I guess it takes time, but we really have to go now. I think there's a big storm coming. I feel it in my bones. Goodbye, Joe. <coughs> two right hand lines. So two right, left, and right. No, no, no! This isn't Ivy! This isn't my wife! It's the monster. It followed me here. It always follows me. No matter what I do. Look, I'm... I'm sorry. You must kill it. What? Why me? You still got that power lead, haven't you? The one you stole from me? How do you even know about it? You must use it to kill her. To strangle her. Oh, You're out of your mind. Do it. Strangle the goddamn creature so it never follows me again or I'll shoot you right here, right now! I... You leave me no choice. Go ahead. Wrap it round her neck and pull it tight. Yes. There's no other way. <laughs> so 
Stop it. What the hell's gotten into you, Mrs. A? I... I don't know. Did you just try to strangle me? No. Oh, God, no. I would never do that, Mitzi. I guess I... I must have panicked. I thought you were someone else. Look, I was gone for less than one minute. Really? Somehow it felt longer than that. At least you found the laptop cable. That's good news because I don't think mine will be any good. Let's see what's on this hard drive, shall we? Well, that was a waste of time. Never mind. At least now we're sure it's not him. Let's just go. I don't want to spend another minute in this place. Well, hey, did you think of a vegetable? What? I'd asked you to think of a vegetable while I was gone. Yeah. So, did you? I... yeah. Sure. Great. Now don't tell me. Was it... Carrot? No. No. Sorry. Oh, that's... odd. Are you sure? Yes. I thought about celery. <laughs> now let's go. Joe can come back any minute, and you don't want to meet him. He is not a nice guy. Hmm. Right, so who's next? We've got the... Oh, my shoulder. We've got that. So I reckon we're going to go now to... Um... Upstairs for the top floor. Trip that box off, I think. screwdriver now. I'm just as lost as I was before. So we're not in there anymore. Right. Floor one is done. Floor two is us. Oh, floor th uh, floor three. So that's flat six and five. No, 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 I know. Down. Basement. Red paint. Screwdriver. Yep. Just clicked. Don't know if I tried to edit some of this out of the bits where it took me a while, but I think that's the point of it now. Like... You, anyone watching is probably screaming at the screen saying, do this. Oh. Must be quite obvious when you're watching it sometimes.
looking at right now, what floor was he on? Third? Can't, can't remember where everyone is. Yeah, we're giving him out. Yeah, he's on third, there we go. Do I need a rag or something? No. Hmm. I mean, oh, no. Right, do I go back into the basement there and get back up? What do we need? Well, basically, we need three things. Got that. Red paint. We've got it already. The dress will make a great costume. We just need it in black. Also, it should look damaged. That's important. Cat Widow is a ghost, after all. I'll need some scissors for that. We need some kind of mask. I don't want him to recognize me, obviously. Scissors on. Scissors. Hmm. Scissors would be used for the cord as well, wouldn't they? Think, think, think. Where would I get scissors from? I get scissors from ours.
This fuse and me, we're playing a dangerous game. It seems I am losing, but I'm a patient guy. Jesse, can we have a quick word? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Again. Can't really think of anything else today. This fuse and me, we're playing a dangerous game. It seems I am losing, but I'm a patient guy. Jesse, can we have a quick word? Sure, sure, but not right now. I'm right in the middle of something. Right, so that's not. So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. Try that. This game's picky. So, what next? Maybe we can find some clues in the mail? There's a mailbox in the hall. It's not making sense. Should I use the screwdriver with it? Have a mess it on. Where's the screwdriver that I have? this up now. Hmm. One minute.
Oh my god, just realised what it is. We have a lockpick with us, don't we, Mitzi? Do you think you can unlock this mailbox? Jesus, I think wrong. I can most certainly unlock this mailbox. <sighs> then do it quickly. Someone can come in any minute. Definitely not fishing it again, so I need to get better, but... A little room for the master locksmith? <laughs> really? Could you step away towards the stairs and turn around? Please? That's a locksmith thing, because they're all like you see now they do it. <laughs> really, we left our keys out at house once, uh, locked them in, and we went out. And when lockpicks come, they're like, ah, oh, can you move away? Because they don't want to show you how to do it. I think they just have a device or something and pop your lock open. Right, come on. Master criminal, if anything. It makes you realise, though, that if you didn't have your chain or bolt on on the inside, people can just... Done. Here's all the mail. Hide it in your pockets and let's get out of here. It was mostly junk mail and leaflets. I threw those away. Well, well. Looks like Pauline is looking for a babysitter. This letter says she's supposed to interview an agency nanny later today. Great. I could be a nanny. It's certainly worth a try. But I should warn you. I don't want to have anything to do with that baby. You're gonna have to handle this on your own. Sure, I understand. Leave it to me, Mrs. A. So now what? See that being sat down for too long. Right, come on, which floor is she on? That one. That one. Coming. Right, step back. I'll handle this. Hello? Hi. I've heard you're looking for a babysitter. Is that correct? Well, yes, that's correct. Look no further. My name is Mitzi Hunt. I'm currently a student, but I'm great with children. And I could really use a job. These school tuitions get pretty expensive these days. I... okay, maybe. But why is Mrs. Ashworth here? Hello, Mrs. Ashworth. Uh, hi, Pauline. Um, how are you? I'm great, thanks. I haven't seen you for ages. Are you here to apply for a job as well? <laughs> no, of course not. I... Oh, Susan's my auntie. She told me about the job. I was a bit shy to come and ask like this. So she offered to come along. 
She is my favorite auntie. Thank you so much again, Auntie Susan. No problem, sweetie. So, anyway, I'm starting this course on child psychology next semester, and I thought it would be useful to get some hands-on experience with little children. How old is your daughter? She's nearly six months. That's perfect. Aren't they just the cutest, most adorable little muffins when they're six months old? Yes, well, you sure sound enthusiastic. Would you like to come in? Both of you? It's okay. I'll wait. Please come in too, Auntie Susan. I can really do with your support. You know how shy I get sometimes. Yes, well, you'll... Okay, I'll come. You owe me. We need to work together on this. I'll do the talking, I promise. Fine. Just don't overdo it. <clears throat> it's too late for that, Mrs. A. What a nice flat! I love the wallpaper. Very retro. Um, thanks. I decorated it myself just before Alyssa was born. Please follow me. We can talk in the living room. I'll need you to drag her away. How the hell am I supposed to do that? I don't know. I'm sure you can think of something. Why don't you think of something? I told you I don't do babies. I feel so uncomfortable here. I gladly blend with this cheesy wallpaper that you like so much and disappear. I know. So do I. Do you think I know anything about babies? No. But I'm trying to fake it and so far she's buying it. Look, I need you to stay cool and come up with something that'll make her leave the room. Mm. Got it? But that's where the problem is. I can't think of anything. Just play it by ear, yeah? I should let you know from the start that looking after a toddler is not an easy task. They're just beginning to crawl, they're very curious, and sometimes they can cry for no apparent reason. And my Alyssa, well, she is a very noisy child. Do you have any previous experience with children? Yes, I used to babysit my neighbor's kids. Excellent. I know we all have to start somewhere, but it helps if you at least know the basics. I'd like to get back to work soon, you see. Just part time for now. That's why I need someone to stay with her. I'm not going to find it easy to be apart from Melissa, but my career has always been important to me as well. They won't wait for me forever. If I don't do this now, they'll just replace me. Where do you work? I'm a hotel manager. It's a very competitive industry, but I've always loved it. I miss it a lot. Where's Alyssa's dad? Do you mind me asking? I... I'd rather not talk about it. It's personal. As far as I'm concerned, Alyssa hasn't got a father. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have asked. No, it's alright, but I just don't like talking about it. I'm sure you'll understand. There just isn't enough support for working parents. Tell me about it. If I don't get back to work in two weeks' time, they will cut my maternity pay in half. So I haven't really got a choice. It's either this or Alyssa and me will face the life in poverty. I have a great connection with kids. I'm sure I can manage with Alyssa. Okay, I don't doubt that. How about... Would you like to hold Alyssa for a minute? We should probably see if she likes you first. I... Yes, definitely. But... I ought to wash my hands first. Your hands? My hands. I must have touched a million things on my way here. As much as I want to hold her, I just don't think it's safe, you know? Really? What have you been touching? Oh, you know, just ordinary things, this and that. 
You look pretty clean. I'm sure it'll be okay. Well, if you must know, I... <laughs> hey, uh, that's right to fill the <laughs> Volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Uh, oh, God, what's that sign? Oh, dear, I don't think anyone. I volunteered at the hospital earlier today. Oh, I'm impressed. You don't see many young people doing that these days. But you're right. As nice as that is of you, there's all sorts of bugs you can pick up in a hospital. It won't hurt to be extra careful. I'll show you to the bathroom. Would you mind answering the door for me? Sure. No problem. It's probably just my friend Kate. Just let her in, please. Is that okay? The bathroom's this way. Follow me. Your turn, Mrs. A. Seriously? Do something. Anything. Fine. Make sure you scrub those dirty hands really well. <laughs> I need a bit of time. Hello? Hello? Are you Kate? I've been sent by the agency. My name is Rita Tickle. May I come in, please? Agency? What agency? The Happy Nanny Babysitter's Agency, of course. We bring fun and professionalism into childminding at a discount price. May I come in, please? Wait, just hang on a second. I believe we have an appointment. It was confirmed by post. Didn't you get a letter? Hang on, I said. I'm sorry. The position has already been taken. Oh, great. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Thanks for your time. See ya. Wait, wait, wait. There must have been some kind of mix-up. No, there wasn't a mix-up. You're just too late. Bye. I'd better call the office and find out what happened. Not leave the baby on the bed unattended. Rule one. Ha. Yeah, next to scissors as well. So then we can roll off and grab the just this disgusting baby. So, was it my friend at the door? No, just some door-to-door -door salesman. Well, I hope you told them to go to hell. I honestly don't know what these people are thinking. 
Yeah, me neither. I'm sure it's Kate this time. I'll let her in if you'll excuse me for a minute. Wait! I think I forgot to turn the tap off in the bathroom. Oh, that's okay, don't worry. Would you mind going back to the bathroom and turning it off while I answer the door? I think I've got something in my eye. Right. I can't touch my eye. I'll need some help to get it out. You'll be fine. Just go back to the bathroom and use one of my cotton buds. Don't be such a baby, Mitzi. My hands still aren't clean enough. I should wash them again. Really? But you washed them for about ten minutes. I'm sorry. I'm really peculiar when it comes to hand hygiene. <laughs> it's a little excessive, but I guess it's none of my business. You know where the bathroom is now. Do you want to go and wash hands again while I answer the door? I'm feeling really sick all of a sudden. Oh. Do you think you're actually going to throw up? Yes. Definitely. Oh, yes. Quickly, go back to the bathroom. I don't mean to be rude, but this is a very expensive carpet. Will you come with me? Please, what if I faint? I, I'm scared. Everything's just spinning around. Can Mrs. Ashworth go with you for a change? It's okay. I'll answer the door and let your friend in, yeah? Well... Fine. I'll put Alyssa in her bed for a minute and I'll come with you. You must have got some bag in the hospital after all. Mm -hmm. I'm confused as to why. Who is it this time? It's you. Again. Hello. Is this flat number eight? My name is Rita Tickle, from the Happy Nanny Agency. May I come in, please? I've told you already. You're too late. You have? I thought I got the wrong door last time. It's the right door. I was looking for a nanny, but I'm not anymore. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You were looking for a nanny. I have 10 years experience and training in child discipline techniques and behavioural psychology. Also, I am known for good personal hygiene, strong work ethics, and I only take one break every five hours. Just to use the restroom. Wow, that sounds really great. But I'd like you to go away now. You don't need a nanny. Nope. I've decided to give my baby up for adoption. <sighs> You're an evil person. You'll go to hell for doing that to your baby. Yeah, she's gonna clear off now. Yeah. I've already been to hell. They don't want me there. These scissors seem sharp enough. Let's create some diversion. I hope this is what Mitzi had in mind. Oh, not that again. What happened to the lights? I'm... I'm terrified of the dark. I... I... I, I can't move. Oh god, can't breathe. Calm down, it's alright. Probably just that stupid meter. It must have run out of money again. It's not even that dark. Please, you've got to do something about it. I, I think I'm going to faint. 
fine. Just stay in my bedroom. There'll still be plenty of sunlight there at this time of the day. I'll go outside and put some money on the meter. It'll only take a minute. Come on, let's see. Let's get this done. <sighs> right. Let's do it. It's a to this huh? Is that you, Mrs. Ashworth? What happened? Um, no idea. Maybe it's a blackout. Like in the old days. It's probably just the meter. Let me see. I don't get it. The cable's been cut. But why would anyone do that? I think we're going to go now. This whole power cut gave me a terrible headache. Is that you, Mitzi? But we haven't finished yet. Have you changed your mind about the job? No, of course not. I'm just scared of darkness, and I still feel sick, you know. Perhaps we can continue some other time. I've had it. I'm getting a new fuse box. Was that you, Jesse? Yeah. How are you doing, Pauline? Well, I we need the power back. Can you do something? Yeah, I can easily fix that. There's an electrical store that's open till late. I'll get some stuff and I'll be back before you know it. Bear in mind it's not just the fuse box, it's the cable this time. I'll get a new cable too, don't worry. But in the meantime, go home, find some candles and chill, yeah? Thanks, Jesse. That's awfully nice of you. Well, it was great seeing you, but we're going to leave now. Hello. Who's that? My name is Rita Tickle. Rita who? What the hell is going on here? Do you know this woman, Mrs. Ashworth? I've never seen her before in all my life. Well, now she'll think we are absolutely crazy. I wouldn't worry too much. You're not exactly the most popular neighbor in the house anyway. Thanks. What? You don't actually care what those idiots think, do you? No, of course not. It's just that Pauline seems all right. I'm not too proud of causing her all this trouble. It'll get fixed soon. Look, Jesse's gone out. We can now get inside flat seven and see what he's been up to. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. We can also cross Pauline off the list. I've searched through her internet history, and needless to say, there's nothing exciting there. Two people left. So. Let's try this. Very chilled that guy though. Very, very chilled. I need to drop a spoon on the floor, and that's me done for the day. That's it. There's now that he's gone, we can get inside. Yes, let's do that. I'll close my eyes, and you pick that lock, Mitzi. Okay, but no peeking. I'd never. You've really hurt my feelings now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now close them. Come on, there's got to be some here. There. Job done. Jesus. Are these... Relax, Mrs. A. They're just Halloween masks. Oh, good. That's good. Because I swear, if I see another bloody head... Oh, we need a we need a mask. Got our mask.
So, who's got windows over this side of the building? Well, Joe Davis lives right below. I guess we could also check one flat below Joe's. I just hope the cable's long enough. Let's find out, shall we? Alright, so we need to go to Joe's apparently. Basement. Look, I didn't think I'd get into it that well though, like I'm a bit slow. To say the least for some parts of it, but it's nice than the usual sort of shooter game or something that I play or something like that. We need to make some adjustments. <laughs> now this is a dress worthy of the cat widow. <laughs> Why don't you admit it was too small for you? <laughs> ha ha, bloody ha. Why don't you just shut up? Whoever wore this dress probably hadn't eaten in years. You'd struggle to get a skeleton into it. This is it. We've got all we need. Great. Are you going to tell me about the Cat Widow now? Yes. It's story time, Mitzi. Mm -hmm. The legend says there was once a bad man who hated cats. He hated his neighbors too, and his job. And when it rained, he'd curse and smash things. He hated his bald head and his weak, ugly body. He probably hated himself the most, although he would never admit it. I think I see where this is going. One day, out of pure hatred for the whole world and everything that lives, he captured a family of cats and drowned them all in the river. That day, the sun turned black and all the birds went silent as the six kittens struggled for life. But, trapped in a strong canvas bag, they never had a chance. They all died that day. All but one. The mother cat, in a desperate fight to set herself free, by pure luck, clawed her way out of the bag and swam to the shore. She lost everything that day. Her beautiful children and her proud husband. Her heart crashed into pieces as she watched their limp, dead bodies stolen by the current. Running after them, she followed them for days, for as long as she could. Oh. Then, eventually, she lost sight of them. She stayed on the bank of the river for a while. The world stopped turning for her, her eyes empty and blind. And then, one day, she slowly slid down the bank and into the cold, dark water. She gave in to it. She let the river take her away too, cover her mouth, her ears, her eyes. But as the water filled her lungs, and she started slipping into darkness, there was another strange feeling that burst in her mind like a ball of flames. Anger, rage even, her last craving, before she drowned, was for revenge, for blood. And so she returned, reborn and changed, a cat widow, veiled in black, mistress of the cats. Her body of a young woman, but her eyes of a cat, and her face, white, rotten, face of a corpse, those who saw it rarely lived to tell the tale. She would get her revenge on all cat killers and cat torturers, but there was someone she had to see first, someone special, someone she really hated the most. 
As the evening came, it was strangely quiet in the man's flat. As he lived alone, he usually liked to fill the silence with the sound of radio or TV shows. But that night, he switched them all off, feeling anxious and tired after work. He tried to sleep, but couldn't. And for once, there wasn't anyone there he could blame for it. As he stared through the window, he kept thinking about how much he hated that view. He liked it once, a long time ago, when his wife was still there and they were happy together. Suddenly, he heard knocking on the door. Some part of him was glad, because that meant he could take it out on whoever decided to bother him. There was nobody there. He almost felt disappointed. But before he turned to walk away, he suddenly noticed something down the hall. He noticed a shadow of a cloaked figure standing ahead. He stopped again. He couldn't believe his eyes. Someone wrote, Cat Killer, on his door. He had a passion for trains. Although he hated being a train driver, he had always enjoyed watching them move. But now, his train model was moving all on its own. He was absolutely certain he'd left it switched off. And yet, there it was, running at crazy speed, remote control missing. Something was seriously wrong. And that something had entered his home now, too. Imagining things, tired as he was. But there was another surprise, waiting for him in his bedroom. Cat Widow is here, was written all over the wall. As in a dream, he went to the kitchen to get a drink. There was no water. He knew there were valves in the basement that turned it off, but no one's been down there for years. He felt sick. None of this made any sense. And yet, deep down, he knew what he did to the cats was wrong. There was a part of him that almost wanted to be punished. The part he tried so hard to hide. His phone was of no use. The SIM card had been removed.
He remembered this cat. He'd watched that strange pest control man put it in a cage and into his van. He'd looked at it through the window for a while, then pulled the curtains and went to bed. He stopped, paralyzed. He'd heard something right in front of him. A whisper, more like a purr. She was there, in the dark corner of his living room, waiting. Black veil covering that pale, dead face. And yet, he could almost feel Cat Widow's eyes piercing through him. She came closer, like a ghost, and swiftly removed the veil. She came back for him, to take him to the river, to make him pay for what he'd done. As he looked into her eyes, he could feel the world spinning around him. His knees go weak, his pants suddenly wet around his crotch. As much as he hated life, he didn't want to die either. Inside, he was just a big, stinking coward. And then, he fainted. <laughs> Did you see his face? I knew he'd fall for this. Yeah, we scared the living shit out of him. Now that's teamwork. Are you sure he won't know it was you, though? Oh, he probably will, once he's had time to think about what happened. But he's too proud to ever admit he's been beaten by a woman. I know him just about enough to know that. Let's hope so. I don't want you to get in trouble because of me. No. That was something I had to do for myself. And I feel much better for it. The only problem now is that we still haven't found Eye of Adam. Because it definitely isn't Brian. I've searched through his laptop and all I found was a load of porn. Let's cross him off the list. So, up the stairs. <clears throat> Need to go to which floor is it? Go to floor one and two. Yeah, I need to say as well, um, past few videos, <coughs> completely not realised that it's been using the webcam audio. So it sounds horrendous, I don't know how I didn't clock onto it sooner, but can't really go back and do it again, so onwards and upwards. So yeah. Go up to the top floor, and I'm not sure if anyone's going to notice, but I've had to film it in a few different parts. So if I'm wearing a different T-shirt in the same chapter, apologies again, but hopefully you can ignore it. It's not easy with three kids and a big house to clean. Right. I should be able to use that computer now. Gotta try Give me five minutes, Mrs. A. Got some gaming sure. when you can. Why not? I'll keep an eye on the door. It 
It's not him either. God damn it! Well, that means we've checked everyone. We've hit a brick wall. Perhaps I was wrong. Maybe he doesn't live here at all. I think we need to sleep on it. And we might get some more ideas in the morning. Shall we head back home? Yeah, I do feel tired. You're right. We need some sleep. Thanks, Susan. It meant a lot that you came with me today. Anytime. What's that? A note? What does it say, Mrs. A? I hope I hope. You will not believe it. Meet me at midnight, both of you. I will wait. Flat five. Door will be open. Oh. Do not fear. Eye of Adam. Flat five. That's the old guy. Can't be. It can't be him. I guess we'll find out. At midnight. We've got a few hours until then. Let's mm. get some coffee. Good old coffee. you and me, my love. No one will find us here. Stop worrying, Ivy. It will be alright. I will always love you. You know that. I'm gonna make you all better. Hey, you better break it up for the head.